Hey guys, welcome to this video on summations. So here we want to determine the value of the following summation in terms of n. And in red here, I have our summation equation. And it basically runs from i equals 1 all the way to 2 times n of 4 times i plus 7. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the equation. So we have the summation from i equals 1 all the way to 2 times n of 4 times i plus 7. Okay. So now what I can do is I can split the summations uh, of the summation up. So we're going to get two summations, one from i equals 1 to 2 times n of 4 times i plus another summation from i equals 1 all the way to 2 times n of 7. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the constants. So we get 4 times the summation from i equals 1 all the way to 2 times n of i plus 7 times the summation. Uh, it doesn't look too good. Let me rewrite that. So 7 times the summation from i equals 1 to 2 times n of 1. And that's just because we took out the 7 from that summation up here. Okay? So now we can use some formulas. Um, this here, the summation here, is basically going to equal, well, let me go ahead and put, put a formula there. I'm going to put a little note here for you guys so you can see the formula. And the formula says if we have a summation from i equals 1 to n of i, then uh, this is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? And we have another one, summation from uh, i equals 1 to n of 1 is equal to n. Okay? So these are the two formulas that we're going to use to transform our summations here. So here we don't have an n. We only have we don't have an n like we do here. We have two times n. So this is going to become we need our four. So I'm going to say four times two n times two n plus one. All divided by two. Okay, and I get that from uh, this formula right here. Okay. And don't forget there is an n here. Let me just make sure I put that clearly. Okay. So all I did was substitute 2 times n for n here. Okay. And that's how we got that equation. So next up is this second summation. So we're going to need that 7. So let me say plus... And then we have 7 times, let's see, here we have 2n, down here we only have n. So we just substitute 2n for the value n here, and we're just going to get 2n. So times 2n. Okay? And now I am going to erase this here. All right, and... Okay, let's get rid of a little bit there. So let's try to simplify this equation over here a little bit more. So now this is equal to, well, 4 times a half there is just 2. So we have 2 times 2n times 2n plus 1 plus 7 times 2n is just 14n. So I'm going to put 14 in here. All right. It's looking pretty good so far. So this is equal to um, 4n times 2n plus 1 plus 14n. 
okay? And this is just equal to 8n squared plus 14n plus, oh, I'm sorry, 8 squared plus 4n, not 14n, and then we're going to add our 14n here, okay? And, of course, we can combine these two, uh, 14n and n. So now we get 8n squared plus 18n. And that's our answer. Okay. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave any questions you have, comments, uh, likes, any concerns. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.